Hello everyone, my name is Meet Pal Singh and I am going to present workshop 3 for group 1 in APS 145 ZEE. So let us begin, shall we? Today we have a situation where there is a busy intersection in downtown Toronto which uses a three light, three state traffic light system. And it is causing trouble for the local public as the intersection cannot handle traffic properly. Pedestrians have to wait for long periods of time. And finally, there is heavy traffic during busy hours. Luckily, our group has perfect solution to this problem. We like to call it Advanced Traffic System Solutions. Simple, yet effective. So in our solution, we first of all switch to an advanced four light five stage system, which helps reduce traffic on the intersection. So how does this system work? Well, the system starts with a state of solid green plus advanced left green arrow and it stays in that state for about 15 seconds. After that, the left green arrow turns amber. Further 5 seconds later, the left arrow turns off with only solid green light being lit for an interval of 40 seconds. After the 40 seconds, the traffic light turns solid amber which 10 seconds later shift to the solid red for 70 seconds. After that, the system restarts back to the solid green plus advanced left green arrow state to provide a fluent cycle of shifting lights. Apart from the basic functions, we also added additional features to help facilitate local authorities and public. It includes a request to walk button in which a button is provided for pedestrians to press to alert the system that a person needs to cross. This is only effective when the lights are in red light state. This request will reduce the remaining wait time to the red light state 25 seconds. So pedestrians don't have to wait full 70 seconds before they can move on. Next, we added a car sensor system which is mounted on the light fixtures that monitors the number of waiting cars when in a red light state. When the number of cars waiting reaches 6 or more, the sensor will trigger the system to reduce the remaining wait time of the red light state to 25 seconds. This greatly reduces the risk of causing a traffic jam. Finally, we added an interruption system. This is something that can occur at any time and will take over the active state. Examples of this type of interruption can be the traffic controllers setting all the lights to the flash amber or to the flash red. So, to understand the system better, let us assume an instance. Adam is driving to work. At around 2 p.m., he reaches the intersection which recently turned red. He knows that he has to wait 70 seconds before he can move on. While waiting, he notices that there are six more cars alongside him. The light turns green, but it only took 25 seconds. Do you know the reason? Yes, it is because of the car sensor system which was activated once it sends six or more cars. So, why is our solution the best? because it reduces traffic effectively on the intersection. It also accounts for the pedestrians so that they do not have to wait for long to move on. And finally, it reduces the risk of traffic jam by introducing the car sensor system. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.